Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time you're getting it all in the rather stunning looking but very easy Orbi Bot Yeah, see? And then a Chivo Guides thing there, yeah Anyway, this was developed by uh, PS Games published by the people's favourite Rattalika Games and is available for, as usual, a deliciously small £4.99 although, at the time of making this video, it's only £3.99 so go get it so this puzzle game looks genuinely awesome, and it, to be honest, it's just a small shame that the devs didn't go with a sort of complete the whole game type of achievement. But tis what tis, uh, we basically need to get our little robot friend called Orbibot, basically to the other side while avoiding falling off stuff. It's super simple, yet it was quite enjoyable. Now the achievements are, as you would expect, easier than weeing into a toilet. So you've got to push stuff off the edge up to five times, get three collectibles and complete three levels. Job done. So let's get you another shiny, albeit ratio battering on true achievements anyway. 1,000 out of 1,000 and a platinum in 10 minutes. And so with that being said then, let us begin. So obviously what you're going to have to do is press the play button because that's what usually happens when you want to start a game. Uh, press up there on the left stick to go to the first level, which is called start. And there you go, you've got a couple of things, so you can zoom in and out with the uh, right and left trigger, press the left stick to move, and the first thing we're doing then, we're going to push these barrels out of the sky, they look quite dangerous, like they could explode up your butt straight away. So grab them, push them off, and then uh, push all four of these blocks off as well. Ain't no wally looking mofos in my town, thank you very much. So just move forward, obviously be quite careful because the controls can take a little second to get used to, or be bought sort of, if you keep, uh, push these two barrels out of the way as well, um, yeah, or be bought can take a little bit to get used to, uh, be careful with this sphere, this little metal bow right here, we need to push this off carefully, and we need to just push this off the edge anyway, so, probably don't even need to be careful. Now, move with the right stick, move the camera there with the right stick, and then before heading to the exit, be very careful, go over to the edge, and get this plastic that's supposed to be a cat that looks more like a cow, but hey, we're going to take that anyway. <laughs> we'll take it. Carefully go back, finish the level, and like I said, this whole level you're just getting tons of achievements at you. Quicker than an absolute cake fest. Bam. And then we explode. Awesome. That's what happens when you eat too much cake. You explode into a million tings. So, let us just... Press the next level. By the way, the achievements can be extremely delayed in popping, so don't worry if the achievements haven't even popped for you yet, they will pop eventually. Um, I promise you. So, the second level, we're just going to start, we're going to head through the door, of course, remember, just to be quite careful. Push one block, wally looking mofo out of the sky. Got enough of you. Destroy my goddamn planet! And then we need to head up these uh, rails, which, again, you need to be quite careful on, because you can easily... Um, mess it, uh, whoa, 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 as you can see there, almost messed that one up, so, you know, take your time, there's no need to rush, unless you've got to be someone in 10 minutes, of course, then, what are you doing watching this and playing the game, bruh? Uh, just take your time, be careful, now head on to this little platform, this is basically a checkpoint, and what we need to do now, turn our camera all the way around, and there is a collectible, the, the cow cat collectible, uh, just underneath, so be very careful, go across the edge and then quickly nip to the other side right there, and then you can just fall off the cliff. Basically suicide yourself to get back up to the other side. Here we go. So we're just going to move forward. Obviously, because there's no point moving back, you're only going to move forward. Going on the platform, chuck this big old sphere boy down the blue tube. Now, what I think of when you put something small in a big tube, I shouldn't really repeat it, but it involves a hamster and the anus, and uh, that's all I'm saying about that. Not that I've done it, but anyway, we're moving through the door, and we are moving on. Again, obviously, just be careful. It's so easy to just move. Uh, have a look at the platform on the right there just to open up the door, but it's so easy to, to move the left stick once and then jolt, and then you're bloody dead. Uh, before moving on there, just chuck this box onto the red uh, button. Eventually, there we go, and that's going to open up the door for us. And then we can just go, and then just like the hamster, we can nip through the tube and have a little nibble on the inside, see what we are dealing with here. 
And that genuinely just reminds me of a South Park episode. That's all. Anyway, let's move on quickly. Uh, so, <laughs> it's... Uh, b- at the end, then, we can just finish the level. So we are done here. Now, can you see why I would have preferred a game like this to have, you know, got to the point where we can play the whole game? It's a really cool... It is a really cool game, and it is it looks bloody lovely as well. So a bit disappointing that we've only got to play three levels, but like I said, tis what tis. So as we begin the third level, then, the only thing we're going to be doing, then, is just moving forward. Again... You should get an achievement. It was an incredibly delayed pop for me. Even on my main account, none of the achievements pop for me on the first level. So if that does happen, like I said, don't worry, it will unlock eventually. So again, being very careful not to fly off the handle, as we've done so many times. Now we should be good. Now if you just turn the camera around, gently pop down, and this is where we should get cow cat number three. Although now I can look more closely that did look like a cat but i'm still going to call it cow cat because it still look like a cow cat so that should unlock our next achievement there it is and then we can be the hamster nip through the tube get yourself the checkpoint right there and then just continue forward now what we need to do is push four spheres three down each tube so i believe there is an order i believe i'm not 100 percent sure but what we're going to do is just push the sphere down the right tube foist Oh, bam. Jaden Sancho, bro. When he scores for Man United eventually. Yeah. Anyway, that one is done. Now we're going to push it through the middle tube. And who am I going to be like? Ah, oh, I am... I am Gareth Bale. Anyway, with the third one then, we're just going to push this one off the edge. So make sure to push that one off the edge. We should get another achievement there for pushing three different spheres off. And then we could just push the last one down the left-hand tube. I was hoping you know where we were going with that. But of course, I am putting off the edge. That might have thrown you off a bit. Wow. Uh, but with this one then, it does fall off. But we actually need to wait a couple of moments for the door on our left to open up. So, you know, just have a little chit-chat. Hey, well, what's going on? How's, uh, how's things in the old life? Or the old afterlife? Can you believe Sean Locke died? I am, I've never been gutted, more gutted about a celebrity's death in my life, generally. British comedian, by the way, for those that don't know, Sean Locke. There you go, the sphere was just on the other side. Now we can nip through the door, so that does take around 20 to 30 seconds to appear. And I will just move on. Uh, you'll have to move the camera around this point. There we go, which I almost fudged up once more. And then we can just keep on carefully climbing up. Carefully climbing up. And now we need to wait for the elevator. So let me just play some elevator music. Right, the elevator ride is done. I hope you enjoyed my elevator music. Interact with the platform on the right, just as a checkpoint. And then we could just drop down the old, uh, the old anus tube right there. And uh, what you need to do on the right, push this barrel out of the way until it goes red. The old fire will not hurt us. And then we could just go ahead and finish the level. So that is going to be three out of three levels. We've just got one tiny thing to do left on this level. And then that is Orpibot, like I said, done in a cheeky, nice ten minutes. And welcome to the final tiny bit, so move forward, and then all we're going to do is chuck these two bowels off the edge, two sphere bowels, and that will be that. So then, guys and girls, that was Orbibot. Hopefully you enjoyed the game, hopefully you enjoyed the guide as well. Uh, don't forget, of course, to uh, comment, like, subscribe, and share with a friend as well if you did find this very helpful. Don't forget, of course, as well, to... Um, Check me out on all my socials, Instagram, Twitter, and Patreon and everything. And speaking of, watch, speaking of which, big shout out to everyone who uh, continues to support the show, no matter how they do it, but especially to those on Patreon. Absolutely awesome. Thank you so much. And, well, that will be that then, guys and girls. So we'll see you in the next one. Big love. <laughs>